Hello and welcome back to Biotope Aquarium Simulator. We are at the pufferfish tank. Um, watching our little female swim around here. Green spotted pufferfish. Uh, you can see at the top right hand corner I'm selling all of the neons and the um, uh, Serpe Tetra Fry. I think we had to 77 fish. 77 fish. And uh, it brought me $133.34. So, we did good. <laughs> we did good last week. Kind of watching, you know, what the, this one's doing. He doesn't flip his, uh, she doesn't flip her tail. But, oh, she is now, so. She kind of stays hidden, too. Uh, but like I said, this is early access. They are working on, the developers are working on the, the behaviors of these fish. It might turn out to be a pretty sweet deal getting a couple of these. I have no idea if they'll breed. I have no idea. Uh, currently, our pH is at 7.63. I was doing some little bit of research with my notes and I did find that the temperature raises the pH. So we've we've kicked the uh, temperature up. We're going to work on that. Get her into a oh into the green zone. So temperature is at 24 or no check that the pH is at 7.63. So it's climbing. Ooh it climbed again. We don't want it to get too high, so. <laughs> but she is in the green. She's happy. She's loving it. Pretty sure it was a female, yeah. Our stress level is going down. That is great. Yeah, she's in the green. So we got to get the temperature up a little bit. pH up. <clears throat> Keep her fed, fat and happy. Stress level's going down. It was a scare there for a little while. I don't know how much she'll eat. Uh, it is the middle of the night. I'm still racking up money up here, man. Um, so we have 307. We have 307. Let's go over to... Let's say goodbye to our Miss Puffer Fish here. 12.6. No eggs course it is a female <clears throat> let's go over to our Swedes tank for a moment let's check them out our females won't um, won't breed I think that might have to do with um, early access and not uh, other uh, environmental things that are in here uh, stress level, 8.2. Uh, 8.2. Why are y'all stressing? Because your pH is low? Well, we know how to increase the pH. We can warm up the waters. Set for 23. Let's go up to 24. And, you know, we'll kind of monitor their um, stress level. It could be because of the rocks. Everything else is good. Maybe put some more rocks in. Do we have anything in the store now? Everything has been sold. Everything is sold. Can we do any other... Oh, sell. So, um, buy. I know we've got one rock, I think, still. We've got something that's not unlockable until level 15 or something like that. Oh, yep, this stone right here. It's a $150 stone. A totem. Kind of going through and looking... High quality Buddha statuette. Since it is a plastic model with rosin ceiling, 
It emits nothing but pure spiritual satisfaction into the water. Reports that this has a positive effect on the stress level of fish could not be confirmed, but it's 125, and who knows? I mean, I don't know. What are these? How high can you make the stack? Yeah, I don't know. But we would have to go with rocks, more than likely, in here to... See, I think these are small rocks. That's a $90 rock. I just... Ooh, I just can't... <laughs> I can afford it. I just don't want to afford it. <laughs> How much are these? Yeah, eleven dollars. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about, right there. But keeping it in line with that dark gray rock I've got in the back, these are four dollars. That's a hundred and twelve dollars. Oh my gosh. That's those two right there, I guess. Yep. Al Altar and Misty, Everest, the Iger, Nar Narodnea. Narodnea. That's seven. That is five fifty. Let's buy two of those. Let's put those in our tank here with our Swedes. And see how they oh oh I've got three I've got three already how big are you all let it kind of fall naturally there see what that looks like Maybe it should go over here or down down near the front, a little bit lower. I don't know. We'll just pile rocks in, I guess. So here is our Swedes tank. Now let's go take a look at the Serpe Tetris. <clears throat> oh, it's nighttime. Let's uh, fast forward a little bit. 6.30 in the morning. Here's our Serpes. We have no fish, no fry. I've sold everything. Nothing floating at the top, which is good. Which is really good. Where do you all stand on breeding? You're 53. The temperature has to be greater than 25. What is your temperature? 23.7. So we may as well increase this just a little bit. It's going to make the pH come up. Oh, I think that's what I was doing. 26 degrees. Okay. <clears throat> so they're loving it here. Everything's green. Plants are green. Serpe Tetris are doing good. What do y'all like on food? <clears throat> it's almost feeding time. 11 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Oh, one's inside our... Uh... There he comes. Or she. What are you? You are a female. Oh, you're going to swim into the... There you go. Oh, oh, that's two brown chicken brown cow. Okay, not yet though, not yet. <clears throat> okay, we have the neon tank. And we have no fry at the bottom. I've sold all of those fish as well. Nobody's ready to give uh, to breed again. Let's see if I can catch that one. You look like a big old female. Yeah. Okay, we have to have a pH less than 6.5. Uh-oh. Less than 1 point. Oh, this is just to be hard water. I can use uh, soft water um, to, to change that, but it's going to affect the pH as well when I change the water. I mean, you all guys ain't stressing, are you? No, their stress level's at zero, so we won't change it just yet. And then, of course, they have to have a few more eggs, so probably in a day or two, she'll have enough eggs to... Uh... So we need a... 
it's less than 6.5 I think is what we were doing yeah so it's got to come down a little bit and then all I'll do is uh, change put some soft water in we're using reverse osmosis water where is that here yeah <clears throat> and then the uh, general hardness should come down let's see yeah general hardness is coming down oh so did the pH I might do a 20% water change today on day one of the week. Let's do that. There we go. <clears throat> and everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. The plants love it. The fish love it. I love the neons. Love the neons. I don't think there's too many fish in this tank. That's, they're big fish. I wonder if they die of age. Does their DNA drop off? Oh, I bet their DNA drops off and then they pass. Maybe. Uh, you know, die. Okay, on to the tutorial tank, which has the black neons and the black widow tetras. Temperatures at 22, pH is 6.71, general hardness 1.1. So we've got some black neons and black uh, widow tetras. Uh, Kind of grab the Tetras because I know that they will breed, and they breed pretty quickly. Of course, that's a juvenile male. He won't breed for 23 days. What do we got here? 12 days on that one. Oh, big old girl. You ready to... <clears throat> yes, you just need a few eggs, and everything is good in this tank. So they will breed. And there'll be more fish, more money, and our level is our level. We're level 10, just into the 10th level. Budget $65 a week. So we just keep them in the green till the end of the week. And uh, we'll have some new fry, hopefully, in a couple of tanks. Keep those till the 7th day. Get all the bonus points, sell it, and go from there. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.